So if yesterday's story about the male boxer who defeated a female boxer in 46 seconds wasn't bad enough, today we've got round two. That's right. We have Taiwanese boxer Lin Yuting, who easily defeated via unanimous decision Satora Tridibekova of Uzbekistan. Say that three times fast. So here it is. Taiwanese boxer who failed IBA gender test defeats female opponent at Paris Olympics. So here we are again, one day later, and we've got another man who failed a DNA test boxing a woman and defeating said woman. After the match, Tridabikova was seen in tears and the boxers did not shake hands and congratulate each other before leaving the ring. Lin Yutang is the second of two boxers that the International Olympic Committee allowed to fight as females despite their failures in the IBA's gender test that was last year in 2023, which caused the World Boxing Organization to disqualify them for sanctioned bouts last year. How is this hard for the IOC to say, you know what, we're following the, the IBA and if you guys want to fight, you guys got to fight men. Is it that hard? Iman Khalif, the first competitor who had failed the IBA's chromosome test, had so overmatched Italian boxer Angela Carini that the latter forfeited the match on Thursday after only 46 seconds in the ring. In 2023, the IBA ruled that neither Taiwan's Lin Yuting nor Algerian Iman Khalif could fight in organization sanctioned fights because they failed the testing requirements to be classified as female. The IBA added that its rules were changed in 2022 to assure competitive fairness and athlete safety. However, the IOC, the woke IOC, decided to use the IBA's rules from 2016 instead of the recent rules because the older set of rules allowed Lynn and Khalif to participate as women. After cherry-picking which set of rules it wanted to use to excuse the participation of the two controversial boxers, the IOC then came out to condemn the aggression of anyone who would question their right to compete as females. Oh my God, these people are just freaking sick. We have seen in reports misleading information about two female athletes competing at the Olympic Games in Paris in 2024, read the joint statement from the Paris Boxing Unit and the IOC. The two athletes have been competing in international boxing competitions for many years in the women's category, including the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020, the International Boxing Association World Championships and IBA sanctioned tournaments. That was until 2023. And the rules changed in 2022. Why not use the 2022 rules and tell these two individuals, listen, if you want to box, that's fine, but you're boxing against men. But instead, we're going to say it's okay for you to fight women. The current aggression against these two athletes is based entirely on this arbitrary decision, which was taken without any proper procedure, especially considering that these athletes have been competing in top level competition for many years. The statement added. Really? This is from daily mail, unfair, unsafe, and wrong fury after second female boxers reduced to tears after losing the to failed gender test opponent as Lin Yu Ting cruises to unanimous points when a day after Iman Khalif left her battered opponent crying. My uh, forest daughter, hope I pronounced that right. Day two of men in women's boxing, job done. Day two of men beating women for sport in hashtag Paris 2024, shameful. 
Another female boxer loses to a male at hashtag Paris 2024. This is unfair, unsafe, and wrong when males don't win by miles in the female category. It shows they aren't very good. Not that they don't have male advantage. Shame on the IOC for allowing this. I mean, it's all over the place now, folks. The door's been opened. And it appears that the IOC is going to do nothing. And I mean nothing to prevent this. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, not in four years. They're going to let this go on and on and on and on. Now, this post here from uh, D-Day Cobra. If you support Democrats, you support this. F you. Exactly. I mean, this, this does dovetail into politics a little bit, but I'll, I'll keep the, the politics out of it as much as I can. I don't understand at the very least, if you're going to con your way into a woman's sport, at the very least, a wig and fake boobs are required. This looks like a dude just showed up to punch a woman. An Islamic trans Olympian. Islamic trans. Welcome to the Habibi. You bring Algeria honor and glory. Now you are to be in prison for being trans. Or you can take a short walk to this rooftop. Inshallah, praise Allah. That's what I'm reading here, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading what's posted. Put pressure on the advertisers. This evil must be rejected. Yeah. NBC's not going to address this. Certainly they're not going to address this. They're going to they're gonna sweep this under the rug and cover it up as much as they can. Uh, Liz Wheeler over on X. Man beats woman literally. Taiwanese boxer Lin Yu Ting beat Satora Trinabekova of Uzbekistan in women's boxing at the Paris Olympics. He has XY chromosomes. He's male. He quote unquote won by punching her. Let me be clear. This is an abuse of women. Like I said in my video yesterday, it started off with swimming. Then it moved to cycling. Then it moved to volleyball. Now we're at boxing. What else? I mean, these guys can't cut it against men, so they decide that, yeah, I'm a girl now, so I'm going to play with the girls. I'm going to play against the girls. That's just, this, this insanity needs to stop. Uh, Courage is a Habit posted this in reply to Liz Wheeler. All this started with weaponizing people's empathy. Today, we don't have an oppression problem in this country. We have an idiot empathy problem. Everyone can begin to reverse this by rejecting inclusive language. Reject inclusion. Embrace exclusion. Not wrong. So, there you go. Both these guys, and I am going to call them guys because they, they've taken DNA, DNA tests and proven that they're guys. Both these guys have boxing matches coming up here in the next few days because they each won their opening round match, their opening round fight. And what's it going to take, IOC? What's it going to take for you to stop this insanity? Is somebody going to have to get severely injured or worse? Before you d decide that, hey, this isn't cool. We shouldn't be allowing this. What do you guys think? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.